The purpose of NPP is essentially it's the prototype of the next generation weather satellite. It's the nation's first attempt to really combine weather monitoring and climate observing in the same platform. The nation's newest weather monitoring and climate observation satellite is getting ready to take its place in space so that we may know what is going on here on Earth. The spacecraft is known as NPP for InPOSE Preparatory Project and it is a technological trailblazer in the effort to find out more about the weather and condition of our world. NPP is a continuation of the existing Earth orbiting satellites. For weather prediction and for climate monitoring purposes, you need to have continuous observations. So what NPP does is continues the, the data record started by the NASA EOS satellites and improves on the instruments that are used for numerical weather forecasting from the current series of NOAA satellites. Uh, current satellites that we have on orbit have been uh, very successful for us, but NPP is taking all of the advances that we've had in technology uh, over the past five, ten years, putting them on this testbed spacecraft, being able to use them, prove them out for the future constellation. So NPP data will be used by virtually all of the National Weather Services for each of the nations of the world. And then there's the scientific users who are trying to understand individual phenomena um, both at home and abroad. While some spacecraft are built to collect a specific set of information using only one instrument, the NPP will observe the Earth in a variety of forms using five instruments. The information it will gather will be extensive, but working with a large set of instruments makes the preparation equally exhaustive. Every mission has its own set of challenges. You know, what's challenging about NPP is the fact that we have five instruments. Some spacecraft have one instrument. Um, so, and every mission has to go through environmental testing. So now you have to go through environmental testing with five different instruments, which all carry their own set of requirements and restrictions. It's, these are NASA satellites. These are one-of-a-kind satellites. You know, something like a GPS constellation, which would launch 20 of the same type of satellites, you can get into a rhythm with how you process those. Uh, but it's not the case for, for NASA missions, which is one of the reasons it's, it's an interesting job, because every spacecraft brings its own set of challenges and, and uniqueness, and it keeps the job interesting. Although NASA routinely dispatches spacecraft to other worlds to push the bounds of exploration, the agency does not lose focus on examinations of our home planet. Previous missions, some still in operation, have compiled decades of data about interactions of the Earth's myriad environmental systems. NBP aims to continue those observations with new levels of precision. It has two specific goals. One is to get the data for the weather forecasts, environmental observations, and take a whole suite of observations that continue our satellite data records, which span from measuring aerosols, you know, dust particles in the atmosphere. How have they changed over the past decade? Um, is the, the vegetation index, is, the, is land greener or browner? over time? Um, has the sea surface temperature changed? Has the amount of ozone changed? These are all uh, data sets that we have multi-decades of data sets and we want to just keep on adding to that so we can answer the, the questions is, is the climate changing? The NPP will lift off from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California so it can be positioned in a specific orbit for its important mission. The MPP satellite uh, will launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base, specifically Space Launch Complex 2, uh, for the reason that it needs to go into a polar orbit. Polar orbit meaning that as the Earth rotates, uh, the satellite will be crossing the poles. And because that this is an Earth-observing satellite, you are able to see every bit of the Earth. The NPP satellite is going into space courtesy of a Delta II rocket the workhorse of America's fleet of uncrewed missions. First launched in 1989, the Delta II has been used successfully to orbit several Earth-observing satellites. It dispatched spacecraft to Mars, including the Spirit and Opportunity rovers in 2003, 
one of which continues to operate on Martian soil. NASA's record is perfect for missions launched on a Delta II. The MPP mission on Delta II is currently the last manifested Delta II to launch on either coast. Uh, that has a historical significance to our team. Um, however, we're treating this as we have treated all of the previous Delta II launches. Recent years have seen new rockets emerge on the Launch Services Program roster. They use new methods of construction compared with that employed for the Delta II. Delta has more of a, of a historic launch processing flow of building the entire rocket up on the pad. Work to prepare the Delta II to launch the NPP satellite began during the summer. We began uh, buildup of the vehicle in July of this year, uh, erecting the first stage, the nine solid rocket motors, the second stage, putting the payload fairing into the mobile service tower. Uh, we will then bring out the satellite in a transportation can, erect it, mate it, and then bring the payload fairing around the satellite. So by the time you get there on launch day, it's kind of like you've planned a trip and you've packed for the trip and all you have left to do is gas and go. So that's what we do on launch day. We uh, load the rocket with fuel and liquid, o liquid oxygen and then we do our final avionics and electrical checks and then we push the button and we sit on the edge of our seats. Thank you.